We have had public participation at the highest level where we have had 47 different dialogues which were open to the general public without control. Inputs were taken, Your Excellency, and nobody should say that he, has, he or she has been gagged. I seek your support to ensure that we consolidate and build on the gains of the competency-based curriculum as we make it a world-class curriculum. I'm also aware that the Cabinet Secretary, Professor Makoha, has set up a task force to advise on the implementation of the competency-based curriculum reforms. This task force has, amongst other things, recommended that the lower secondary, which is grades seven, eight, and nine, should now be domiciled in our secondary schools. And this, because we have also insisted and has also been contained in the task force report that there will be no examinations in standard six, which shall ensure that we have now 100% transition from primary through to secondary school. The curriculum reform should focus on providing education and training that guarantee opportunities for our young people, not only here in Kenya, but also globally. We need education that is practical and hands-on. Education which nurtures creativity and innovation. One that needs to encourage a problem-solving approach to challenges facing our communities and our nation and the world. And one that encourages our youth to take advantage of the opportunities available to them. In many instances, look at the amount of pressure that we put on our children. You must pass your exams. You must. Jameni saengine mutoto wata akiwa kwa likizo hapumziki. Tuition, sijui nini. Fanya hii, fanya hii. The child does not even have an opportunity to grow as a child. Are we then surprised when we put all this pressure that we start to see depression on the rise, that we start to see all these abuses also on the rise? Na mutu wa kimaliza unambio, lazima upate degree. Lazima utaenda university. Hata kama ni kulipa, ni talipa, ni honge nani, mtoto wangu wa ingie university. Akiingia university ata qualifications hana. Kazi hana. Jameni let us work together and arm our children with the skills and nurture the talents that God has given them as opposed to imposing on them <laughs> what we think they should be. I believe you teachers should be the greatest warriors in assisting us to reshape our curriculum in order to ensure that those children who have lost hope are able to regain hope and confidence that their future is bright and that there are opportunities for them out there. Because I believe that at the end of the day is the dream of every teacher of every parent. And that is the objective that we have here today. To help train and impart knowledge that our children 
can use, that our children can take advantage of to become positive contributors to themselves and society in future. I acknowledge the progress that we have made so far in the preparations for rolling out the reforms in grade four next year. Indeed, I am aware, and we have heard from Madam Nancy, that the Teacher Service Commission has trained a total of 113,223 teachers from public and private schools. And I believe this is good progress. I do expect that the Ministry of Education and the Teacher Service Commission will maintain the momentum and ensure the training of teachers is completed expeditiously and that all infrastructural instructional materials are available in schools by January of 2020. <laughs> amebarikiwa kuwa carpenter ambaye ndio atakuwa mjenzi wa manyumba kubwa kubwa Kenya hii kwa nini we mzazi umlazimishe ati wewe utakuwa daktari na huyu mtoto hata akiona site ya damu ya, ya mbuzi anasirai lakini wewe unamwambia wewe utakuwa daktari hata damu ya mbuzi akiona yeye ana faint tu Lakini wewe unamwambia wewe ni daktari. Sasa jameni. Nani ameharibu mtoto? Si ni wewe umeharibu mtoto jameni. Sisi. Na tunataka tufanye pamoja. Ni kutahirisha watoto wetu. Wawe ma Bill Gates na ma Steve Jobs wa kesho wa Kenya. That is what we want. Hmm? Kwa hivyo tuache hii mambo vuta ni kuvute. Sijui hii, sijui hii. Shida zitakuweko. Kweli, hakuna kitu ambacho kinaanzishwa au kinabadilishwa ambacho hakita kuwa na shida. Yeah? Nothing will be perfect from day one. But it is our commitment to fix and to face up to those challenges that is important. Not the recognition of the challenge. Not the recognition of the challenge.